Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on an Acer Aspire 5, the A515 series laptop. I'm going to show you how to open it up to access your fan, your heat sink assembly, and, and obviously your CPU um, in case you need to replace it or you want to clean it out. So first thing, guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're going to flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Now you have these five along this edge, these three down here on this edge, and then these three across the middle. So quite a lot of screws here. After you get those screws out, guys, use a small, flat, preferably plastic pry tool. Go all the way around the seam and gently but firmly pry off this bottom case from the rest of the computer. And if you get stuck somewhere, don't keep forcing it. Go the other direction, um, meet in the middle, and in doing that, you'll get this bottom case off. After you do, guys, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, just as a general rule, guys, before I go touching anything inside a computer, I like to either remove or at least unplug my battery. Um, the idea is to get as little power running through the computer as possible to avoid damaging anything. Here's your battery down here. This is a 15.4 volt, 54.6 watt hour battery most of you will have in this model. It's got two screws on either side if you want to physically remove it. And it's got the battery plug right here that in this shot looks kind of purple. So in order to unplug it, you would remove this black piece of tape. And instead of pulling on the wires, guys, I always recommend not pulling on wires. Instead, put your fingernail on either side of this port or use a pry tool on either side of the port and just wiggle it out left, right, left, right until you can get that out of the motherboard. Now, after your battery is at least unplugged, guys, we can go ahead and access this area. This is your fan. This is your main vent right there. This is your heat sink assembly, and it goes over your CPU here. As you can see, there's a screw here and here for the fan, and the fan unplugs right here. So as usual, guys, don't pull on the wire to unplug your fan. Put your fingernails or a pry tool on either grip there, either side of that plug, and jimmy it out just like your battery until you get that unplugged if you're looking to remove your fan. After that, guys, you can blow it out, vacuum it out. Same thing with your vent um, if that's why you're here to clean it out. If you're looking to get over your CPU, there's three screws here. Right there, three screws in a triangle. That will release your heat sink from on top of your CPU. So that's how you access this. If you guys are here to reapply thermal paste on a CPU, um, there'll be a video link above. I'll also have it below in the description. It's a quick tutorial on how to apply the correct thermal paste after cleaning off the old stuff, which you definitely want to do. So I hope this was helpful, guys. I hope that helped you get in there and access those components for whatever you're trying to do. If you need any help with any tools or supplies for your computer project, as well as any replacement or upgrade parts for this model computer, there'll be a link above, also below in the description, to a list of those components and tools that you can use for your A515. If you guys had any questions, again, go below to the description, the FAQs. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you would like to leave me a question or a comment, please do. I do try to get to those as often as I can. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.